Hey everyone, here's a quick video on how to change um, rotors on a uh, BMW M2. This is gonna apply to mo most of the cars and with this particular setup, is gonna be almost identical to the vast majority of the uh, M cars as well as uh, most of the sedans. Um, this is actually not a very bad um, or difficult job uh, to do. I would, uh, for a first timer, you can probably a lot, maybe an hour per side. Um, a few tools that you're gonna need and um, may not be bad to get a help and assistance from someone um, to, uh, to do the work because there are a couple of uh, times uh, where you do require, um, you need to hang um, the caliper that you see hanging there and uh, it just makes it a little bit easier if you have another pair of hands with you. But um, once you've taken the wheel off and obviously the car, you wanna make sure that it's uh, secured, uh, you need to uh, remove the um, old brake pads. And there is gonna be, there's a backing plate. It's kind of like this, that's sitting here. A couple of pins that are sitting in the calipers that need to come out. You then, like so, remove the old brake pads. And then there are two, um, what are they? 17 millimeter, 18 millimeter uh, bolts like this. Those bolts, I'll try to, not sure if you'll be able to see it, uh, but there is the bolt number one goes here. The second bolt goes up here. And on the caliper itself, there are, there are there's a hole number one, I don't know, hole number two back there. That's where the bolts are attached. So once you have uh, those bolts removed, make sure that you get, you need to hang the caliper. You don't wanna put the stress on the brake line. I just bent an old uh, hanging um, coat hanger and just tied it around uh, the spring to make sure I can get it out of the way. Now, in order to remove uh, the rotor itself on the M2, you need a five millimeter bolt um, hex. Um, there's a little bit of a trick to it. I'm gonna set this down for a moment and just this so you can see. But I was gonna say, as you can see, uh, the wheel is moving. So this is where it, it is beneficial if you can have somebody else um, with you to, to assist. Uh, let me set this on a tripod here so that we can, we can see and nobody gets hurt, hopefully. And, um, there really are only two bolts. Um, bolt number one goes here, that's already out. Second bolt comes out like so, and that's it. And then this whole assembly just uh, slides out. So there are, as you can see, these are the holes for the nuts, and then there are two, one, two, three other holes. One, two, and three that help keep the rotor in place. Now, once this is off, it's a good idea to just uh, check, make sure that you can see, you can check the hub, make sure that the hub is spinning freely. This one is, when you put the wheel back on, you can, uh, you can check side to side movement on the hub, it should be minimal. Um, the dust shield is in a good shape. Um, now I have a whole new rotor set up here and a set of new pads that I'll be putting on um, and I obviously need to make to make sure that I'm doing this um, uh, and make the change on the other side as well. So never change just a single rotor. It is really a pretty straightforward job. This rotor I probably could have gotten um, a little bit more time out of, but it's already starting to crack. Um, I've gone I bought these from uh, FCP Euro. They do have a lifetime warranty um, on all the parts that they sell. And um, so when these rotors are fried, if they start cracking or when they start cracking again, 
um, just need to ship these back to SCP Euro and uh, incur that shipping charge, but you will get a free replacement rotor uh, back for life as long as you own the car. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If, uh, uh, helpful. if there are any questions, uh, please post them below. Thanks.